I have a problem and the problem is this. I love being on the computer. I love the amount of information that you can gather through it and contact people all around the world. It's an amazing tool, but I also love moving. I love being outside and doing things and just interacting with the real world. And the problem with the computer, of course, is that most of the time you're just sitting there. So I need a way to have some sort of movement or exertion while still using the computer. And I tried making a little standing desk like this style, but it was terribly impractical and really couldn't use the mouse. If you make it big enough to have the mouse and everything else on there, then it's really annoying and time consuming to put it on top of the desk and move your computer out of the way. So we need a desk that goes up and down and I want to use counterweights because they're perfectly reliable and I really don't like the motor approach. It makes noise when it goes up and down and it requires you to have electricity nearby, which means a cord. I worked out the overall strategy in this model. Now it's time to build it. Step one, we're take our notes from the model and begin building a rough draft version of the table. Building a rough draft is really important because if you try to go straight to the final draft, you end up making no progress and that's exactly what happened here. This is a pile of hickory that I bought six months ago and it's sat quietly in the corner ever since. We'll do a side slash front view first. And then a side slash back view next. Note that these parts are not tied together right now, they're independent because it's a rough draft, it's not supposed to be perfect. You may note that I actually went ahead and built the prototype and didn't show any process of that. And I apologize, but I find it very difficult to think and really focus on a project when I also have to think about whether or not it would make a good shot, things like that. So when now that I've finalized, or I'm in the process of finalizing the design, at least for a good version, then it becomes more about just executing the design. So in that case, we're gonna do a lot more of the process of cutting it, putting it together, things like that. So let's have a look at the parts and see how things work. So on the side here, you've got two main parts. You've got your upper piece, I haven't decided on a good name for it yet, and you've got your legs. And the legs are just perpendicular. When you come down here, you can see that we've got a gusset plate which holds it. These come up, and then this part simply goes over it to ride up and down, and that resists the moment. This is just an extra bearing from God knows what project, and it's kept in alignment with these very fine strips of walnut, and it has a tendency, this piece, to pull that way due to the way that the arm in the back comes on. So these just keep everything lined up. I screwed up on the other side's arms here because I was supposed to be planing down this side to create more room for clearance with the walnut strip and I took it off the other side and ended up having to reinforce it, but that's how it goes. For the gusset plates and counterweights, just use some half inch plywood here, 18 gauge nails. That uh, helps explain some of the flexibility that we have. These counterweights I don't know where this came from. I'm pretty sure we found it by the side of the road sometime. I drilled it out and tapped it so I could put a bolt to hang it. I should also note that I think they weigh about 20 pounds in this case, and uh, they are enough to lift it up and down with very little on the top, so we reduce some friction, make things more efficient. 20, 30 pounds should probably be pretty good for the total, uh, rather for each counterweight, giving you 60 to 70 pounds of total counterweight, which seems about right if you consider uh, the desk mass. So we're in that ballpark right now, it's reasonable. The center joint is just some half inch black pipe secured backwards into uh, this cross piece. Nothing too special there and quite a bit of friction and wiggle room. The counterweight arms are just two by fours which I planed down to about an inch and that was so that they would line up a little bit better when they were in the lower position. On the back here, we've got these caps, which keep the arm from going too far up. And then some wheels 
depending on how they are aligned, both of them will be touching. That obviously reduces friction. Then we have this plate here. This is what the bearing down here rides on. That bearing is slightly exposed past this. I had to go with plywood because when you're drilling that close to the edge of, uh, well, any kind of wood really, the grain will tend to break out in the little section that's left. So we just replaced that with a Baltic birch sort of plate. And now we're gonna take it down and you can see since that bearing changes position and then when we go back up, you'll be able to see why it has to come over. This being a rough draft, it's a bit longer than necessary, but you get the idea. Here's another view of that bearing. Everything's a little crooked, of course, but um, you can see how it sits on that plate. And ideally, these two arms are gonna be closer together. Obviously, this bolt is creating some alignment issues. It's not actually touching, there's a distance here. But um, I didn't have a great way to mount these things on here, so that's all stuff that'll be improved in the future. So there we go. I finally have some momentum going on a new mechanical project and I'm pretty excited about that. Um, what can we improve on this prototype besides everything? Instead of besides, I probably should have said more specifically than everything. So we have a lot of parts um, like these arms that hold the counterweights. These run into each other a lot. They need to be drilled more perpendicularly for first of all in the center and uh, probably have some low friction things on the end to keep them aligned. These wheels, like the bearings, need to be mounted better. I just mentioned that. The uh, grooves on the front side, well, there should be grooves rather than just little walnut scrap strips. These gusset plates at the bottom need to be much, much stiffer in addition to beefing up the legs themselves. I want to be able to lean my full weight on just one side. I think it should be able to hold that. And I worked out the math couple hundred foot-pounds of torque. Shouldn't be too hard for a couple good hardwood joints. And besides just simple improvements, there's also a couple things that this needs which are not present here at all. Let's say we get it perfectly balanced, it goes up and down. That's great. But it needs a way to stay up there. If, even if it's balanced but you lean on it and it goes down, no good, right? So we need a locking system. And I'm thinking we'll have locks that you can pull with your hand here. It'll have something that'll go in and drive pins into the main support. That'll keep it either up or down, easy to use. Um, these obviously need to be locked together more. This loosey-goosey setup is not going to work. We also need a damper system. I don't want this thing going from, you know, medium here or mid-height and someone lets it go up and bam, it runs into it if there's nothing on their desk or the other way around. So we need some sort of system to damp this. We also need a way to adjust the counterweights. Somebody with a very heavy desk needs their counterweight to be able to go out. Somebody with a light desk needs to be able to move the counterweights in. Some sort of sliding system with pins probably do the trick there. The height is pretty good. We're at about 43 inches here, which is a good working height for me. And I'm six feet four barefoot, so I'm pretty much the worst case without getting extreme on heights. This obviously is a little bit thinner than your normal thickness, but we can account for that. When it's down low, we are at roughly, um, little prototype. When it's down, we're at about 28, 29 here. You add the thickness back, you get 30. So our overall rise is pretty good. For the width, I presently have the width at uh, right about six feet or two meters. And uh, that's probably wider than most people want. But for me, I kind of like it again because everything is in reach. I have the depth set at 30 inches of working space. Again, that seems about right. That's what I've had other desks at. Anything else becomes a little bit um, out of reach and again, long arms. None of these dimensions are difficult to modify though. The mechanism stays the same no matter how wide it is and the the arms you know you just have to adjust the length there so it seems pretty straightforward to scale this for different sizes. 
which is nice because the table is not especially straightforward to do it. That's it, prototype number one complete. We have a list of specific things that need to be fixed, not just generalities like, oh, it needs to be stiffer. I know which parts need improved. I'm gonna look into ordering some bearings and things like that and uh, potentially get some more hardwood today so that we can push through on the next version. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and see you here next week.